Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, you're very welcome. Please subscribe. Uh, please share if you like this content. Um, the, uh, my name is Christiana Davidson. I'm a psychotherapist and I use hypnotherapist. Uh, I use hypnotherapy rather uh, to help my clients uh, break free and heal uh, from the very real impact, the very real deep impact um, of childhood trauma, family dysfunction, um, and especially narcissistic family systems. Um, now, the topic for today is, uh, the title is, I don't know who I really am. And I would like to suggest that this is a consequence of uh, childhood trauma, particularly when you have an, a parent who is narcissistic. And what do I mean by a narcissistic parent? Well, basically a parent who has no empathy. And what is empathy? It's the desire to uh, understand somebody else's experience, to really value highly somebody else's uh, feelings, um, their experience of things, um, as opposed to making yours um, the dominant one. So, um, you know, that question, how do you get to know yourself? <laughs> Well, the first thing to recognize, I would suggest, is that you actually don't know yourself. And that's a really helpful place to be, actually. I've come to the point in my life where I don't actually know who I am, and I would like to. Now, when you don't know who you are, you also, therefore, do not know your true potential. Uh, you don't know who you could be, in other words. So this is really important. Um, it's a really important question to ask. We can know when we're being ourselves by when we are not being ourselves. So when you find yourself at times maybe putting on a show a bit or feeling like you're having to live up to some expectations of this group or trying to be like others or um, you're feeling that you've got to put on um, an appearance of being this particular type of person or this particular type of professional, whatever it may be. Those are some signs um, of when you're not being authentic, when you're not being your true self. Now, the thing about this is, you know, it's like any relationship. You know, we all, this journey of life, really, I believe, is about the wonderful chance to really get to know yourself. That's what we're here to do, is to discover ourselves more and more. And the thing about it is it's a, it's, it's a developing a relationship with ourselves. And all relationships take time. It's not that you can instantly sort of say, right, I am you know, I know myself inside and out. No, it's something that happens over time. Um, so I often have to remind clients that when they're in this place where they feel, oh, I just don't, I really don't know myself and I want to know, and I, what can we do now to, to know myself? I do need to remind them that this is something that we, we, we become more and more aware of as we do the healing work. The key thing, uh, the wanting to know who you are and I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you why that is so key you see when you grow up with dysfunctional parents or in a narcissistic uh, household um, first of all the child needs to be seen physically seen um, so that's one of the attachment um, nutrients that all children need they need to be see themselves mirrored and reflected in the face or in the eyes of the mother the child needs to know that it's somebody that in, in the look that it receives from its mother that helps them to know oh yes I am somebody 
But you see, a lot of parenting doesn't go beyond that. It doesn't go be beyond the physical seeing of the child. And this is where the problem comes in. There needs to be a second level here. And this is really um, important for helping children to get to know themselves. So the parent needs to be empathic and they need to be empathic enough to want to get to know their children. That must be a priority for parents to really be curious about who this child is. How are they different to me? How are they similar? What are their likes? What are their dislikes? The parent must want to enter into the world of their child. And how do they do this? Well, they do it through play, um, you know, through wanting to spend time with the child, uh, to wanting to understand them and how they interpret the world without judgment, just a curiosity. And they, mu they must really want to care for their child's worries, for their fears, for their struggles. They must want to know this and take the time to actively ask about it. But you see, when this doesn't happen, the child does not get to know themselves and does not have the tools then later on to do so. Instead, they learn to dismiss their experience and to look outside to know what they should be thinking and feeling and experiencing or how they should be, who they should be. So in a dysfunctional home, your experience, your world, the world of your child of the child is just not important at all. Your parents' world is what's important and you learn to view it in the same way. Your feelings, who you really are, is really not important at all. No, what you are told or formed to be, who they want you to be, is what's important. And so you learn to lose sight and value for who you are. You also see your true self as, as really not very valuable. And so you depress it because you believe that it will actually make you unlovable. It has no worth and that others aren't interested. And so you do the same to yourself. You take no interest in who you are or no interest really in your experiences or your feelings. You, you kind of disconnect from that and become very maybe uh, more analytical than heart-based heart with yourself. But when at some point you realise that this is causing chaos in your life and you decide enough, I really want to connect with me now uh, so that I can really get a sense of, of who I am authentically. Uh, it can be scary. I mean, where do you begin? You know, you begin to ask the question, who am I beyond all the trauma in my core? Well, this is where the work of therapy comes in. Uh, it's it's the real work, in fact, and um, I would suggest it, it to take to do two levels here. And this is how I would work with a client. I would I would focus on reconnecting with that inner child. It's got to happen there. That inner child still needs a parent to come in and enter its world and be fascinated. So we've got to step in now as that parent you never had and become fascinated and curious to understand the experience of the child and all it went through. We've got to give it space to, to, to speak uh, and to be valued. Not told to shut up and get on with it, as many of us spend our lives doing. And then the other level uh, is to also work on the present. So to begin to get to know yourself in your present life uh, by 
being empathic to yourself. And I did a video on this yesterday, which I would really suggest you watch. You, you know, being curious about your experience of things, uh, being curious of how others make you feel, um, and almost sort of being a parent to yourself now and saying, gosh, you know, that, that feels really hurtful. Um, I can understand it would be hurtful when they said this. Um, so, so beginning to see things through your perspective. This is not easy work, but I, you know, in the in the program that I offer clients, uh, we really do dig into this, and I offer a couple of tools that are really, really helpful um, in in coming to to really have a, a process um, of being able to connect with you and empathize with you because this is the key to healing it is empathy in the past empathy in the present for you because it's what you never ever had um i hope uh, you all have a lovely weekend i thought we'd keep it a lightish topic today <laughs> Um, but um, yeah, just remember, um, be curious about yourself, uh, you know, take delight in your experience and, and, you know, perhaps take some of the pressure off of trying to fit in with other people and groups and whatever it is, you know, you be delighted in you. Um, and if I'm your therapist, I would be absolutely delighted uh, to get to know you and help you get to know you too. Thanks, everybody. Take care and I'll see you for another video very soon.